Well, we um, really needed to have an immediate response to the events in Ferguson and um, everything that's going on um, with Eric Gardner's case um, and the cases of so many um, black and brown Americans that will never see justice. So t the events today were really just a reaction to the need for uh, people of color and um, our allies on this campus to gather um, in a safe space and um, say loud and clear that black lives matter. This demonstration should be about holding people accountable. Yes, it involved race, but at the end of the day, we need to hold our justice system, our law enforcement accountable for every action. And that's why we do demonstrations like this, to make our ASU family aware that, yeah, it may not be happening here, but it's happening. It's happening if we don't control it, we don't know. The recent lack of indictments of police officers all over the country from cases ranging from Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, has really like just brought out a bunch of anger and rage in the ASU black student community. And not only with the victims of police brutality, but just the lack of African American students at this university and the lack of support for those students at this university. So kind of just to encompass all of that and come out and like show our support and like just get the message out there because I think that people have a really misconstrued um, thought process in terms of like race relations, not only at this university, but like all of our nation. I'd like to say that I'd like to see more strides taken because we can do protests every day, we can do die-ins every day, but a genuine education of our students and our professors, just a genuine um, push towards social justice education, um, support for our students of color on campus, support for our LGBT students on campus, support for students of different religions, different nationalities, like that's something that we need to start advocating more on this campus. You know, I feel like we don't have to be doing anything wrong. I feel like we're targets out here. And um, especially, like I said, a predominantly white institution in the area where it's like, we don't really know where to turn. What do we do when we're in here trying to have a, a protest and somebody says something like, leave, you all need to leave. Because he, he think he has the privilege to tell us that we, like we don't, like, we don't pay the same tuition as him. We're just having a protest so for him to say, like, leave. Like, how do you deal with that? How do you not get angry? And we're trying to, like, you know, do things peacefully, but um, it's, it's tough when you got people that just want to shun us away, act as if we're not citizens and humans just like them. Well, I think it was um, more successful than I could have imagined in that it was a unifying experience. So people of color and not people that are white um, came together um, in massive numbers. I'm shocked and um encouraged um, because it's very easy as a person of color on this campus and within a 95% white um, community to um, feel invisible and to feel ignored um, and when you're not invisible then you are um, hated or feared. Um, so it it was a unifying experience and for that reason our demonstration on Monday that's coming up is going to be even stronger. It's going to be bigger and it's going to be better um, because we're going to have more um, diverse um, opinions at, um, at the table. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. I can't breathe.